how to get a design and have a circuit for our PCT. This time, we're going to teach you how to make a simple circuit using a dotted PC. We're going to make three circuits in this video. LEDs in zero connection. LEDs in parallel connection. And a circuit that will control the brightness of the LED. We're going to show the step-by-step -step process in making these three connections. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin to hurry up. Let's go! Before we start, we will first show the materials that we need. Dotted PCBs. Solid parts. LEDs. Resistors. 50K of tensometer. 10 volts battery. Battery connectors. Switches. Soldering iron. Soldering lead. You can also use a power supply. A brand new and a digital multimeter. Okay, let's show the step-by-step -step process in making those circuits. Part 1. Series LED circuit. Step 1. Create circuit design. Let's first create our circuit design in scratch. We use multi-SIM for doing this. We can also test it here. If you don't have multi-SIM, you can just draw this in a paper. Step 2. Position and mount components in the PCB. Let's arrange the components in the PCB based on our design that we've made. Let's insert each pins in every hole in the PCB. Step 3. Solder components and make solder bridges. Let's solder each hole with pin on it. Take note, be careful on using soldering iron because the soldering tip is very hot. It is also recommended to put face masks while soldering because of the smoke. Let's also solder the ends of the switch. Then, let's make solder bridges to make connections in the circuit. Step 4. Testing circuit's connectivity and LTD. Let's set our multimeter to the B position. Then test each LED to see if it will light. Let's apply continuity testing in every connection. It should be to say that its ends are connected. Step 5. Mounting the switch and cutting excess. Mount the switch in the PCB using a glue gun or anything to paste it in the PCB. Then, let's cut the excess in each pin using a plies or a pair of scissors. Take note to be careful in cutting because of sharp excess that might spit out. Final result. As the circuit is connected to the battery via a battery connector, let's open the switch to test if the circuit will work. It works successfully. The steps here in making parallel connection is the same as the previous step. Step 1. Create a circuit design. This time, we will still use the multi-SIM application to design the circuit of parallel connection. Step 2. Test components. In this step, we will going to use multi-tester to test if the components to be used are all working. Using the 
troubleshoot it to see if the connection is working in actual. Step 5. Solder components and make solder bridges. After finding the right place of components in the PCB, we will now mount the components through soldering. Step 6. Mounting the switch and cutting excess. In this step, we will now mount the switch in the PCB and we will cut unnecessary wires to finish the design in the dotted PCB. Step 1. First, let's create a schematic diagram for our LED circuit with brightness control. Step 2. Let's test the components that we'll be using to make sure that they are working properly. I'll be using a 9V battery, a 470 ohm resistor, and an LED. Step 3. Now, it's time to make an actual circuit. For now, let's use a breadboard. Carefully mount each of the components onto the breadboard. Then, let's apply a voltage to check if it is working. All good! Step 4. It's time to use a PCB. But for now, let's just plan and position where to put each component. Step 5. Now, it's time to solder the components onto the dotted PCB one by one.
after each component has been soldered properly, make solder bridges to connect the components. Okay, that's all guys. Those are the steps and how to create a circuit and other components in a PCP. Thank, Thank you for watching! watching.